Hi everyone! Guess what? It's time for a new app. So get your faces out of Facebook and into a real book with your child. Talk with your child and get them hooked into reading. Alright, you want to check it out? Let's go! Hi Marcus. Um, I'm Mustafa from God bless you. Thanks. How are you? Good. Good. Cool. We're going to read a book today. It's called The Very Cranky Bear. What do you think the book's about? Um, it's about a bit that's cranky. Did you guys see what happened? I asked what happened in the story. Who, what, when, why, how? Ask those questions. Okay, let's see what's next. Wow, do you know what the word cranky means? Mm -hmm. Show me what cranky means. <laughs> cool. Well, it sounds like you you know what the story is about. Mm -hmm. I've never read it before, so can we read it? And then, I, then I'll see what it's about, eh? Mm -hmm. Cool. You know when somebody else is cranky, what can you do to help them be happy? I just tell the truth and sorry. Oh, I like that one, saying sorry. Only big men say sorry, eh? Cool. Okay. The Very Cranky Bear. The Very Cranky Bear. In the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, four little friends found a perfect place to play. Moose had marvellous antlers and lion a golden mane. Zebra had fantastic stripes and sheep, well, sheep was plain. Do you play in the rain? Mm, I don't play in the rain. I might get sick. None of them had noticed that someone else was there. Sleeping in that cave was a very cranky bear. bear. Can you see the bear? Uh-uh. I can't see the bear. Did you guys check that out? Did you see what I did? End it. Let your child finish the sentences. Leave a couple of words for them to finish it off. Okay, let's check it out. Bear! went the cranky bear. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Four little friends had nowhere warm to play. play. Oh, how sad. Would you get grumpy if somebody woke you up? Mm -mm. If they came in your room, would you get angry and kick them out? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Man, she's so clever. Did you guys see what she did? She asked a personal question that would connect the story to Marcus's life. Wait a minute, said Zebra, as she scratched her furry chin. Can you scratch your chin? Maybe if we cheer him up, he'll let us come back in. That's what we should do. Stripes are silly, Moose complained, especially on a bear. My antlers always cheer me up. Let's give that bear a pair. Would you want some antlers? Mm -mm. Like sticking out like this? No? Would it make you happy? I want, you know, um, some um, go together. Really? What do you mean? Like this? Like a triceratops. Ah, yeah, a triceratops. Cool. Is that your favorite dinosaur? Mm hmm. Uh, and T Rex. Cool. No, 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 said Lion. Antlers are a boar. Do you know what boar means? No, so bore means boring. So it's like it's it's just plain. It's n not fun. It's nothing exciting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what does bore mean? Um, it's not so exciting. Eh? It's not so fun. Not so fun, and it's just plain. Boring. Boring. Hey, boring. Did you guys see that? Did you guys pick it up? I added information. So if your child doesn't know what a word means, tell them. Don't be scared to tell them. And if you don't know what it means, find out together. What better way than to connect that way as well? Let's carry on. A golden mane like mine, he said, would cheer him up for sure. So Zebra fetched a tin of mud and lion some grass of gold. Do you know what fetched means? 
Oh, uh, yep. What does fetch mean? Um, you can, like throw something and then um, something will get it. What will get it? Uh, you know, like fit, like a dog fetch or stick. Ah, very clever. Moose got two big branches and sheep, well, sheep got cold. How come, why do you think sheep's still outside? Because that weather's cold. Oh. Do you remember what they were playing when they first came into the cave? Um, what were they playing on the floor? Cards. Card games. Good boy. Sheep was getting worried. They've been eaten up for sure. And then from in the cave, there came a very cranky bear. Zebra, lion and moose ran out and bear was right behind them. They hid behind the bushes where they hoped he wouldn't find them. Why is he still cranky? His ant he's got antlers, stripes and mane. Before we gave him those, lion said, he looked so very plain. Why do you think he's still angry? Um, um ruined his nap. They ruined his nap. Yeah, I get angry when people ruin my nap. Do you? No. No. Okay. As Bear stormed back inside the cave, he turned and roared at sheep. All I really want, he said, is a quiet place to sleep. Sleep. So you're right. All he wanted to do was sleep. So Bear. I'm looking up <laughs> Well, thank you very much, said Bear, and soon he fell asleep. Maybe he was dreaming of a plain but thoughtful sheep. Cool. See, look, what happened? Um, he fell asleep. He fell asleep, so he let them play in there, eh? Mm -hmm. Nice and warm. Awesome. Cool. So what did you think of the book? Um, I think of the book of, um, I didn't think of the, um, um, Bear was a... Trying to sleep. Yeah, but did you like it? Cool. You know, because there's the very cranky bear, and you know, there's another book, the same bear, and it's called The Very Itchy Bear. Oh. Yeah. If you could write a book, what animal would you use? A uh, whale. A whale? And what, um, what would be wrong with the whale? Like, this one's cranky, the other one's itchy. What would you use? Um, uh, it's going to all about the little white sperm. Oh, cool. Mm, it's a very clever way, or <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to read it. Did you see that? New thoughts. Ask your child what they thought of how the story went. Don't be scared to ask them. It is important that they, you get their point of view on how the whole story went. Now, let's carry on. Well, thanks for reading the book with me, Marcus. High five. You're solid. <laughs> okay, that's it. This glamorous lady. Gotta go. But don't forget, practice, practice, practice. If you need more help, don't hesitate to come to us at school. Fast and forth.